Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something super fun. We are painting my stairs black. So we're gonna be painting the banister, like the whole railing situation, so it matches the wrought iron spindles that you see right there. Um, this is something that I knew I was gonna do from the second that we um, started the process for this house. Um, we picked all our finishes. Getting the railing painted black wasn't an option, and um, if it was an option, I totally would have loved to do like a full wrought iron railing, but that obviously wasn't an option through um, our builder, so I then decided that I was just going to paint the whole thing black. So we have been moved in now for a month, so this weekend I figured it would be as good a time as ever to get this all started, um, partly because like this railing, I made it not match. Let me show you. It doesn't match our floors, not like really. Um, it's more orange than the floors. And I did that purposely so I wouldn't have the option to chicken out if I kind of decided that I wasn't sure. Um, now I have no choice, gotta paint it black. So doing that right now, we're gonna start with the primer. I'll show you guys all the all these supplies. So I have a tarp, my dad got me paint brushes, my dad's a painter so he went and picked up the proper paint for me and the primer as well. Because this railing is varnished, originally we thought we were going to have to sand the whole thing down but actually we got a special primer that you just put on top of varnish and it's going to be way quicker to just throw one coat on and then paint on top of that. So yeah, I'm going to go change into my paint clothes and we're going to get started. What? You're in candid camera. <laughs> okay, I got my paint clothes on and we're gonna start with just like the little railing um, to see how it all goes. But I'm not gonna tape anything, I just have the tarp. Um, I'll see if some areas might need taping, but whenever I paint with my dad in the summertime, as you can see, my paint clothes, um, we just kind of like with a steady hand really be very careful like we do all our cuts by hand we don't really tape anything so I think it forces you to actually like pay attention and be like a little more precise with what you're doing so we're gonna just dive right on into it this is the primer that I'm using put a focus um, yeah so this is the primer I'm using right here my dad tinted it gray for me it usually comes in white but tinted it gray since I'm painting black over it so it'll hopefully just everything will cover way nicer. So let's go. Okay, so I've got the paint can I'm working out of and we're just gonna go for it. Let's go. doing from back there but I just want to show you so this is the primer and this is how it looks like on the railing and as you can see I didn't tape this at all and just by being really steady you can do sorry it's not focusing it's having a rough time just by being super super steady handed and focused you can actually get what I think is a better line without tape because I feel like with tape you have like this false sense of security where you feel like yeah if I touch it it's fine but then it bleeds through and it looks bad so this way you actually get a super clean line all the way down and yes so we're going we're doing it and let's keep going Thank you. 
so we've got the one little side painted. We're gonna have to do all this and then all upstairs. It's gonna take me way longer than I thought. I for some reason thought I could get all the railing primed in two hours. Um, yeah, how long have I been doing this, Graham? Two hours. No. Hour and a half. Yeah, no, it's been an hour. It took me an hour to do this. So I guess this weekend I'll probably just be priming and then, I don't know, we'll see how much I can get done. But got this all primed. Tried to be like as precise as possible. Um, it obviously looks like the gray is not what we're going for. Um, but you can get just like a sense of what it's gonna look like when it's black. And I'm so excited. Right. I can't reach there without a ladder, but we'll do that later. Hey you guys, so it's been a while since our railing's been painted. I just haven't had a time to show you the after and I was sitting here working at home and the light just, right now it's, I don't know, like three, oh, 1.30. And the light is just so nice that I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to give you a quick little peek at how the railing turned out. So, ta-da! That's my office right now, so don't judge, but it looks so, so good. I'm obsessed with it. We also painted our door black. Let me show you, the puppies are sleeping. I love that we painted the whole frame around the door and like the trim and everything black because it really just accentuates the height of the ceilings in my opinion. It makes it look like a humongous door versus like, oh, <laughs> what it looked like before. And we got Argo. Hey buddy. And Nala. But yeah, so I can, sh I can show you guys, we did all the way downstairs here too. And our basement's finally kind of set up. So this is our cozy little movie watching space. And then we do our workouts kind of in this area. We gotta organize a few more things, but you should have seen it down here before. It was like a hot mess. But yeah, so we did the railing down here. Cute little sconce. And then I am just so obsessed with how this turned out. Honestly, it just looks like everything I want. So what's really nice about it is you can't really tell from afar, but from close up, you can still see the grain of the wood, which I really, really like. Just ended up looking really good. And then the whole railing upstairs is painted as well. I just still need to get rid of the tape. So yeah, what do you guys think of our railing transformation? I am a huge fan. I love it so much. And I also want to show you our Christmas tree quick because it turned out really well too. Look how beautiful she is. So pretty. We are all ready for the holidays and I'm so excited. Even though we're currently entering another lockdown in Ontario. I don't really know how to feel about it. I personally, it doesn't affect my job at all. So it's really easy for me to say that it doesn't bug me because I still just get to keep working from home and I, I love working from home like a lot a lot so um, and really we weren't doing anything or going anywhere that it really affects our lives at all but I do really really feel for all the small businesses especially that need to be closing or my friends that work in the service industry that's where I was working before I recently started uh, this nine to five that I'm doing right now but um, 
yeah, oh, it got really sunny here. But yeah, I really feel for everyone in the service industry. Hopefully people are going out right now and really, you know, tipping their servers well because it's gonna be a weird and rough Christmas. Anyways, this is kind of a negative note to end the video on, but um, I will leave you with one more look at the railing. And I wish I had a video without my office mess. But yeah, she's a beaut. We are quite happy. And I just want to thank my mom and dad for coming while I was at work and painting it. They did such an amazing job. All right.